Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new Teacher Online Tech video here on the channel and this one is huge. I'm talking large screen which is going to revolutionize the way we game going forwards. Now the reason I say that is for the last few years I've been doing all of my gaming whether that be on PC or console on smaller screens whether that be 24 inch or 27 inch. The only difference to that is when I recently purchased a screen for my racing sim which is a 34 inch LG Ultra Wide. Now my other screens are all behind the camera, they're 24 and 27 inch screens, which I find to be the best option when it comes to fast paced competitive gaming where you're online and looking for every possible edge that you can get. Whether that is down to the fast response time, the refresh rates, or even things like G-Sync being included so that you get the best possible picture with smooth crisp graphics that are not going to cause any issues when it comes down to those key moments in gaming and you want to get the victory rather than be defeated. Now recently, as I say, I picked up the LG 34 inch ultra wide screen for the racing sim but that was because that gives me that width value when you're doing racing games that you really want to get from the ultra wide position. I haven't played on a large TV which I would class as that was in my living room or from sat on the sofa in a long time because well, those screens just don't give you what you need to be competitive. But all of this playing and gaming on small screens could be about to change because of a new range of TVs that are now available from LG. So LG contacted me and said, what if we told you you could get everything you would ever want from a gaming screen to make you as competitive as ever, offer the most incredible picture and sound, but on a much larger scale, ranging from 55 to 77 inch screens, this would also have on top of it so many other features that would mean you would never look away again. What would you say? Well, I'd say that sounds amazing, but is it really possible? To that, they said, we'll prove it to you. So they've sent me out this LG C10 65 inch 4K Ultra HD Smart OLED TV to test out and show that bigger is better for gaming. It's a screen with just a one millisecond response time. This is the measure of time that it takes the screen to switch from one scene to another, creating clearer images in games, and believe me, one millisecond is pretty much the best you should expect right now. The input lag is another speed advantage over its competitors at just 13 milliseconds, which will again raise your chances of winning. It has up to 120 hertz refresh rate with VRR, which is a variable refresh rate which will reduce frame tearing for more fluid and better detailed gameplay. Plus on top of that, an auto low latency mode, which reduces the latency and lag by automatically switching to the low latency mode when required. It has HDMI 2.1, offering up to 4K at 120Hz, and which will also support the next generation of gaming with Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 being fully covered. Plus on top of all of that, it's the world's first G-Sync compatible TV, making gaming on a larger screen clearer, smoother, with less stutter, lag or flicker, making it just as enjoyable and more than likely better than that of gaming on a smaller screen. So here we are, LG have delivered on their word and in this video we're going to take a look at this TV and putting it to the test to see if I could be persuaded to start gaming on a bigger screen once again and that it really does live up to the hype and do all of the stuff that I've just detailed out. If you'd like to learn more about this TV, there is a link down in the description that will take you through to LG's website where you can get all of the information, the specifications, the everything you would need to know about this screen, just in case I don't cover off something that you would like to know more about. So make sure if you want to know that, just click on the link down below. Although I'd love to have this screen in this office, it's just not practical. A screen that size just would not fit correctly with, with everything that I've already got in here. So it's going to take its place in my living room. So that now means it doesn't just have to please me for my gaming, but it also has to deliver on being the main TV of the household and making sure that the wife has the best experience watching all of her terrible programs. Out of the box, the screen is simple to set up seven screws to attach the sleek metallic base stand and I was ready to go and of course get playing and for this I wanted to make sure we put this TV and screen through its paces so I plugged in my Xbox One X to play Call of Duty Warzone as that's the game that I'm playing most of right now in terms of competitive multiplayer and that needs to give me the best possible screen 
to give me that little edge when it comes to trying to get those Warzone victories. There are four HDMI 2.1 ports, three USB along with a LAN, two RF ins, an optical out, line and headphone out, and a CI slot. The TV is also of course Bluetooth and Wi-Fi compatible, and it's powered by a standard AC plug attached to the TV with no additional power supply boxes required. One thing that you notice straight away from this is just how thin the screen and TV unit is. So much power and tech in just a few millimetres of thickness. The OLED screen delivers up to 4K at a resolution of 3840 by 2160, all processed by the LG Alpha 9 Gen 3 AI processor. Unlike LED TVs, the technology within an LG OLED screen packs self-lit pixels, meaning that they work independently to emit their own light. This will allow for perfect black levels, outstanding colours, infinite contrasts and the sharpest details which ultimately uncover all the details in darker scenes of gameplay and of course TV and movies. All of this is supported with AI powered sound where AI acoustic tuning learns and understands the space around and in the vicinity of the TV. This is AI Sound Pro, leading to it delivering the crispest most incredible quality of sound for all of your experiences whether that's gaming, movies, or sports. Dolby Atmos, OLED surround, the specs are of the highest levels, and if you want to dive into the real stats and numbers of the sounds, or all the other elements of this screen, make sure you do click on the link in the description to find out everything that you need to know. And as FYI, I played with both the sound of the television's internal speakers and with a headset, both performing exceptionally well, with the TV delivering incredible results in terms of the quality and the surround sound acoustic experience. Sat on a sofa around six feet away, everything felt brilliant. You could definitely tell the fast response time of one millisecond was really pushing for the clearest of images, which I hope comes across in the footage that I have captured. And the low input lag of 30 milliseconds was definitely giving me an edge. One additional setting that has not been mentioned is that the LG OLED TV has what is known as the HDIG profile for all HDR games. Now, HGIG is a mode created by gaming industry companies that then ensures the optimal HDR performance for both PlayStation and Xbox consoles, which again, I'm sure will feature heavily in the next generation as well when it comes to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Two further features that I will not go into detail on in this video, as I did not use them as yet, is an eye comfort feature where the TV is basically using a 29% blue light, much lower than this normal 50% minimum standard for eye comfort, meaning less eye fatigue even after all of those long gaming sessions or consuming hours of box sets on TV. And then there is ThinQ AI, a voice control where you could say, Hi LG, connect Xbox One, and the TV will then automatically connect you to the Xbox, power up the device, and enable game mode on the TV itself. Oh, and on top of that, I almost forgot it also has Google Assistant and Alexa included as well. All in all, my experience of gaming on this screen was flawless, yet it has not been long that I've played on it so far, just a few days but it has most definitely made me want to play games back on a much larger screen. I'm getting the same levels of quality and experience, if not better, than I do when sat at my desk. One thing I know, it's going to be just another level when I get to play single player experiences like The Last of Us 2 or Cyberpunk 2077. These types of games are going to look and sound better than ever before. Way better than if I were to sit in front of my little 24 inch desktop screen. And on top of that, I've not even tried plugging my PC into this. Just imagine how games like Valorant or League of Legends are going to look, or any of the PC games that you look to play. It's just going to be on another level, another scale, and I'm even tempted to bring down my racing sim rig to the lounge to use this TV for that as well. But let's be real, I'd never get that past the wife. The one thing I did want to touch on briefly before I summarise everything is that the LG operating system of WebOS is extremely well put together. All controlled by the WAND remote control, there are so many choices, all of which you're seeing on screen right now. Apps such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney+, and for us gamers, Twitch and YouTube are also featured. Now you can watch your favourite content creators or streamers in the highest definition and quality from the comfort of your sofa. This TV has definitely brought back my love for gaming on a larger screen. 
I never thought everything that was promised would be delivered upon, but I have to say, from what I've seen so far, this TV and screen is way beyond my expectations, and I cannot wait to experience more and more in the future. If you have the chance to check one of these out in person, it's definitely one of those you need to see it to believe it kind of moments to really understand how good this is for gaming, and of course all of your TV content. Hopefully you can take my word for it, and believe me when I say this, I'll always try and offer the most honest opinion I can. I will never look to be forced to tell people something is good when it is not. As if that were the case, I would not even want to make or publish that kind of content here on the channel. When it comes down to it, if you take my advice, then that is a lot of hard-earned cash that you'll be spending, and I want to make sure that you're getting value and quality for that money that you're going to spend. That is hopefully why every episode of Teachable and Tech I make offers you as much information as I can give you about a product for you to then go and make up your very own mind on whether that's something for you or not. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. I have thoroughly enjoyed making it and showing you this LG C10 65 inch 4K Ultra HD Smart OLED TV. A huge thanks to LG for getting in contact and for sending me this so that I could create and share it with all of you. Gaming on any format has never looked so good on such a large screen. Plus, you'll be future-proofing yourself for the next generation of consoles that are due to release at the end of 2020 if you did decide to get one of these as well. So there's no need for any form of upgrade. Plus, when you're done gaming, there's always Twitch, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, or so much other content just waiting to be enjoyed on this beautiful piece of technology. So if you do want to know more about the TV, click the link in the description. Of course, that will give you the full overview, full specifications, reviews, and also where you can buy this. Huge thanks again to LG. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and let me know down in the comments why you didn't enjoy it. Until the next time, my name has been Tommy T. 9 and I'll speak to you again very soon in the next one.